The soul of man is immortal and imperishable. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Without a doubt the human soul is immortal. This is clearly seen in many scriptures in both the Old and New Testaments, Psalm chapter 22 verse 26, and Psalm chapter 23 verse 6, and Psalm chapter 49 verse 7 to 9, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7, Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 to 3, Matthew chapter 25 verse 46, and 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 12 to 19. Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 says, Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Similarly, Jesus himself said that the wicked will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life, Matthew chapter 25 verse 46. With the same Greek word used to refer to both punishment and life, it is clear that both the wicked and the righteous have an eternal or immortal soul. The unmistakable teaching of the Bible is that all people, whether they are saved or lost, will exist eternally, in either heaven or hell. True life or spiritual life does not cease when our fleshly bodies pass away in death. Our souls will live forever, either in the presence of God in heaven if we are saved, or in punishment in hell if we reject God's gift of salvation. In fact, the promise of the Bible is that not only will our souls live forever, but also that our bodies will be resurrected. This hope of a bodily resurrection is at the very heart of the Christian faith, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 12 to 19. While all souls are immortal, it is important to remember that we are not eternal in the same way that God is. God is the only truly eternal being and that He alone is without a beginning or end. God has always existed and will always continue to exist. All other sentient creatures, whether they are human or angelic, are finite in that they had a beginning. While our souls will live forever once we come into being, the Bible does not support the concept that our souls have always existed. Our souls are immortal, as that is how God created them. But they did have a beginning. There was a time they did not exist. There is often confusion about the human spirit versus the human soul. In places, Scripture seems to use the terms interchangeably, but there might be a subtle difference. Otherwise, how could the Word of God penetrate even to dividing soul and spirit? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. When the Bible talks about man's spirit, it is usually speaking of an inner force which animates a person in one direction or another. It is repeatedly shown as a mover, a dynamic force, Numbers chapter 14 verse 24. It has been said that there are only two things that last, the Word of God, Mark chapter 13 verse 31, and the souls of men. This is because, like God's Word, the soul is an imperishable thing. That thought should be both sobering and awe-inspiring. Every person you meet is an eternal soul. Every human being who has ever lived is a soul, and all of those souls are still in existence somewhere. The question is, where? The souls that reject God's love are condemned to pay for their own sin, eternally, in hell, Romans chapter 6 verse 23. But the souls who acknowledge their own sinfulness and accept God's gracious gift of forgiveness will live forever beside still waters with their shepherd, wanting for nothing, Psalm chapter 23 verse 2.